Good day everyone. We will discuss on SQL Server login failures and possible solution for each failures in this video. Let's get started. We will be using uh, JBS AG1 for uh, this particular demo. So what I'll do is like I will uh, I'll be checking the SQL Server error log for uh, each and every uh, message that uh, we will be uh, uh, getting as far as the login failure is concerned. So what I'll do first is like I will cycle the error log just to make sure the error log uh, starts fresh. So I'll be using XP underscore read error log to get the required information. So yep, so we have this information setting like error log has been initialized. So let's get started. So what I'll do is like I will first um, uh, use uh, SQL authentication and then I will key in and uh, log in that is not uh, present on uh, this particular SQL instance as far as JBS AG1 is concerned. So let's uh, run that and what I'm seeing is like we are getting a message called login failed for user login. So now we will check the error log and then understand what is this error actually is. Let's check the SQL server error log. And uh, if you look at the error message here, so we are basically getting that uh, uh, error 18456 CVR T4 and state 5. And the error message clearly states like login failed for user login. That's the name that we have used. Reason is could not find a login matching the name provided. So that means like this error basically tells like the login that we have used is not present in the SQL server JBS AG1. So the solution for this is to create a login uh, by name uh, uh, what we are using to connect to. Uh, that's the solution for this issue. There is high possibility someone is um, uh, trying to uh, use a log, uh, wrong login or there is a uh, spelling mistake as far well as the login is concerned. Moving on, let's try uh, the next attempt. So now what we'll do is like we will uh, use um, SQL Server authentication but what we'll do is like we will uh, use the Windows uh, account here. So let's key in the account and then provide the required username and password. I've seen scenarios where uh, users uh, try to connect to the SQL server uh, using the Windows authentication, but the authentication method they select will be SQL server authentication. Let's see what happens. So when we connect it here, what we are basically seeing is like we are getting a same message as last one, wherein it is basically telling login failed for user JBS wiki slash JVBake 2 k one So now let's look at the uh, error log again and see what is the error that we are seeing this time. So this time we are seeing um, error 18456, so we are T14 and this time state is six. Login failed for this login. Reason attempting to use an NT account name with SQL Server authentication. So it is uh, clearly telling the issue here and it is basically telling like we are trying to uh, connect using an, um, a Windows uh, account, but the authentication method selected is uh, SQL Server authentication. So the solution for this would be to just um, go ahead and change this authentication method to uh, Windows and then um, whatever uh, login that you are logged into this server will be here. So basically click on that and we'll be able to connect to it. So that's the solution for this particular issue. Okay, so let's try uh, the next option. Uh, let's give a wrong password and then try connecting to it. And then if I'm uh, able to see, there's the same error, login failed for uh, user jvig 2 k one Let's go to uh, the error log and then see what is the error this time. So this time, um, the error is error 18456, we are T14, but the state is H now. And uh, it is basically telling login failed for user uh, jvig 2 k one And the reason is, password did not match that for the login provider. So it is pretty clear it's a password mismatch. And uh, so the solution for this issue would be to key in the right password. Okay, so the next one would be to, let's try connecting. Uh, let's click on connect. Again, 
uh, this time we are getting an error login field for user SA. Let's uh, look at the uh, error log now. And then if you see here, this time we are getting in uh, state seven. So error 18456, CVRT 14 and state is seven. And this time the message is login field for user SA. Reason, an error occurred while evaluating the password. So um, uh, what is happening is like, the SA password seems to be wrong. And also what I understand is like the SA login is disabled. So next what I'm going to do is like I'm uh, going to um, um, enable the login and then reset the password. And then once again, I will uh, uh, disable the SA account and then I will try connecting to the SQL Server JBSAG1 with the right password. So we get this particular uh, message when the login is um, uh, disabled and also when we provide uh, the wrong uh, password. Okay, I've just uh, enabled the SA account, reset the password, and then I've uh, disabled it. So now what I'm going to do is like, I'm going to provide um, the proper credential that is uh, the login and password correctly, but SA account is disabled. So let's see what is the error that we are going to get. So we're getting a uh, message login failed for SA, which is same as last time. So let's look at the SQL Server error log. So this time, what I'm able to see is like we are getting a state one error. So that is, uh, if you look at the error, uh, it is no longer 18456. It is uh, the error this time is error 18470, CVRT 14, and state is one here. And uh, if you look at the exact message, what we are able to see is like it basically tells like a login fail for user SA. And the reason is the account is disabled. So that's it for. Uh, uh, this particular error message. Moving on, now what I've done is like I've um, uh, used a, a run as different user. So you just need to press shift and then right click on this um, SQL management studio and then you will get an uh, option as run as different user. And what I've done is like instead of using my logged in user, I've provided uh, uh, JBS wiki slash uh, test login. And uh, I will try to uh, connect to JBS AG1 with this um, um, with this Windows login. Let's see what happens. So yeah, I'm getting a message stating like login failed for user JBS wiki test. So let's look at the uh, SQL Server error log. And then uh, if you look at the error, we are basically getting an error of um, uh, state five uh, error 18456 CVRT 14 and state is five. Login failed for user JBS wiki test. Reason is could not find a login matching the name provided. So the solution for this particular um, uh, error would be like to add this uh, login JBS wiki slash uh, test to uh, uh, the logins as far as JBS AG1 is concerned. Now what we'll do is like we will try adding this particular login and then we will um, uh, deny the access and then uh, let's see what is the error that we will be getting. So uh, let's uh, go to user mapping and then for the master database what we'll do is like uh, we will basically um, um, uh, or else what we'll do is like we'll go to um, uh, status and then what we'll do is like for uh, permission to connect to database engine we will deny it first. Now let's try connecting to uh, uh, this particular um, um, uh, uh, SQL Server JBSAG1 using the uh, login which was denied earlier in JBSAG1. Let's try connecting to it. So we are getting this message login failed for user. So let's look at the SQL Server error log and see if we get a different error. So this time we are getting an uh, altogether different uh, state uh, here. So what I'm seeing is like, it is basically telling like um, error 18456, CVRT 14, and state this time is 146. It basically tells like login failed for user JBS wiki test. And the reason is token based server access validation failed with an infrastructure error and login lacks connect permission. So it clearly tells like uh, uh, this login doesn't have uh, permission to connect to the SQL server. That is basically like we denied the uh, 
uh, this particular login. So that's the error. And state 146 basically comes when you uh, deny access to that particular login. Okay, so now what we'll do is like we will um, 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 uh, will enable this login that is like uh, instead of um, uh, um, denying the permission, let's grant it. But what we'll do is like we will disable this Windows login. Yep. And then uh, let's see what happens when we connect now. So let's uh, try connecting to it. And then we got an error. And uh, the message itself is very clear here. It basically tells like login for user JBS wiki test. Uh, login failed for user JBS wiki test and reason is the account is disabled. So that is pretty clear. So let's look at the uh, error log once and see uh, what is the message that we get if uh, it is something different. And here what I'm seeing is like it is the same thing like error 18.470, severity 14, state 1 and login failed for JBS wiki test and the reason is the account is disabled. So this is same as what we saw in the SSMS also. So this is what you see if uh, this particular login is disabled and the uh, user is trying to connect to it. Moving on, uh, let's uh, connect to JBS AG1 using Windows authentication. And uh, let's wait for, yep, so um, this particular message that we are seeing here basically tells like uh, the SQL service has been uh, uh, paused. So uh, if we look at the uh, configuration manager here, we'll be able to understand like uh, SQL server is passed and that's the reason we are not able to connect to it. So what we'll do is like we'll start the service and then uh, connect to uh, SQL now and then see if it works. Yep, we are able to log in. So let's look at the uh, error log and see what is the message that we are getting when uh, uh, SQL services is passed and uh, someone is trying to connect to SQL server. So if you see here, um, this is the message that we got as far as um, um, when SQL services was uh, passed. It is error 18456, severity 14, and state, star, uh, state 13, login failed for user unknown here. Reason SQL services is passed. Moving on, now uh, we will uh, connect to uh, JBS AG1 using an uh, SQL login called FI Finance. Let's see what is the error we are going to get. So this time it is basically telling like uh, cannot open user database, uh, cannot open user default database login fail. So uh, the error message is like uh, uh, um, uh, clearly understandable. It basically tells like the default database that is selected for this particular login um, is not um, uh, accessible, cannot open uh, user default database or uh, the login doesn't have access uh, to that particular database. So let's uh, check the SQL server error log. And then if you see here, it basically tells like login failed for user finance. Reason failed to open database DB1 specified in the login properties. So the resolution would be to uh, provide um, proper access to uh, uh, this particular login called finance for database DB1. So that's the uh, solution for this issue. So let's try that once. Uh, so the, the login is finance. And then if we go to user mapping, and then if we give uh, access, let's say we will give them uh, data reader. And then if you try connecting to it, let's see what happens this time. Okay, so sorry. Yep, let's try connecting to it and it works fine. So the problem is uh, as discussed, uh, the default database uh, for this particular login finance is uh, uh, DB1. And since it did not have access to that database, it was basically failing. And now that uh, we have uh, uh, provided um, uh, access to uh, DB1, we are able to connect to that database without any issues. We will uh, connect to uh, JBS AG1 again using uh, login finance and see uh, if you are able to connect to it. 
So what we are uh, getting is like we are getting the same messages uh, from our previous time. This time it is cannot open uh, user default database, which is same as last time. Uh, it is an error of 4064, and this time also like I'm getting, we are getting 4064. So let's check what is the error this time. Uh, so last time it was um, uh, state 40, and this time also uh, it is state 40. And it basically tells like login failed for user finance uh, reason failed to open database uh, db10 so last time it was uh, failed to open database db1 and we were able to understand like uh, uh, this particular login did not have uh, proper access to db1 and uh, db1 was set as the default database and that's the reason we got the error last time but this time uh, let's see like if we have proper access but the thing is like what we are seeing here is like we don't have a database called db10 at all and now let's look at the login finance and then look at the um, properties there and what we can see is like uh, the default database here is basically null we don't have uh, anything selected here so what could have happened is like uh, the default database uh, we would have selected it as db10 and someone would have deleted it and this particular login which had the default database as db10 uh, since the database uh, is no longer there, the, the default database has become null. So the solution for this would be to select any of the database that this particular login is having access, or we basically have to remove this login. But in this case, what I understand is like it already has access to DB1. So what I'll do is like I'll change the default database to DB1, and then let's see if you're able to connect to it. And yes, it works. Let's uh, try connecting to JBS AG1 one more time. And uh, what we are seeing is like we are getting a uh, login field for uh, user finance. That's the message that we are seeing. So let's look at the SQL server error log and then see what is the error. So the error uh, that we are seeing this time is like it is um, error 18456, CVRT 14, and state 58. Login field for user finance. Reason an attempt to log in using SQL authentication failed. Server is configured for integrated authentication only. So what this means is like we are having a Windows authentication only. If you look at the security, the server authentication is set to uh, Windows authentication mode. And that's the reason when we try to connect using an SQL um, login, we got this uh, error. So the solution for this would be to either not to use uh, SQL authentication at all or change the authentication mode from uh, Windows authentication to SQL server and Windows authentication mode. And then you will have to restart your SQL services for the changes to take effect. Let's restart it. And uh, once the services is restarted, we will try connecting to uh, SQL using the SQL login. It is still starting now. Yep, started now. So let's try connecting to uh, SQL server. Okay, cannot open user database. This is the error we are getting, 4064. Let's look what is the problem. Don't see an error in SQL error log. So let's try connecting one more time. Yep, and it works fine now. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Jai Hind.